Hey guys, welcome to the 4th grade origamist. I'm Enzo Tazzolo and today I'm going to be teaching you how to fold my origami gladiator. Okay, I folded this one out of a um, 7 inch square of tissue foil. If you don't have tissue foil, that's completely okay. But, I think tissue foil works best. Okay. And I'm going to start with a, I'm going to fold this one out of a 10 inch square of comic paper. Okay. And white side up. Fold in half diagonally. Again, this fold in half diagonally. Don't unfold. If you want to make two, then cut the paper in half because you only need a triangle. I'm just going to do a rip fold. Because otherwise the origami is not pierced. Yeah, I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to make a white gladiator. This will give me a white gladiator. And then we're going to fold in half again. Unfold. Fold to that edge. Fold to that. Fold this edge to that crease. And repeat. Unfold. And then fold to those creases. Right now we're dividing each of these small triangles into eighths. Okay, and then unfold. And then take this, well, flip it over, and take this crease and bring it up like a pleat to the center crease. And repeat. And fold these down, reversing the crease. Okay, now we are going to um, full, um, divide each of these trying each of these sections in half. I normally just like to do this. Um, And repeat on the other side. Okay, and then turn it over, and then valley fold it in half. So we should have this sort of like a paper fan. We're going to locate the center crease, which is normally that, which I can tell easily is that one. And then see if that's a mountain or a valley. If it's a valley, then flip it over. Because we want that to be a mountain. And then we're going to do a reverse fold on every single one of these. Remember to always remember you should always know where the middle crease is because that's pretty important. 
Okay, so grab the one that is the center crease, which is this one, and then we turn it over, and we take, we go to the one. This is the point of the center crease. We go to the next one, and then there's these two points. Make a mountain in between those two, and then squash it down. This is a kind of box plated model. And then do it on all of them except for the center. Well, actually, and in this, we're also gonna, and then we're going to connect it to the other one so that we then get a big flat. Here we have the arm. And we repeat to do a shield on the other side. Sorry if you couldn't see me for the last three, se three seconds because I don't know if I have bad connection or something. The connection in my house has been going crazy for the past few days. So, there. So we have that. So we should have four flaps, head, um, legs, um, nuns. This is only one flap, but later we're going to see how to, well, right now actually, we're going, to, I'm going to just open, I'm just going to eyeball this, you couldn't have pinch marks. Then I'm going to fold like that. And then do a bit of box pleating. This usually isn't that neat, but don't worry, it's totally normal if you don't get it to be that precise. And then once you're done box printing, you should have two points. And again, they're not that neat. I'm just going to turn it over and make it so that the pieces are as even as possible. Okay. So, it depends. The next step depends on what you want. If you want it to be like a hooded guy like that, then you just push it out in the middle. But if you want it to be a face guy like that, you want to turn it over and make put, and then push it like that. Well, it could be both actually, but. Yeah, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do the hood. And for the sword, we're going to rabbit ear the entire arm in half. And fold up. And then, not, um, then we'll just like so. And next for the seal. We are simply going to squash while making a mountain right there. A lot of my models are, and then since it'll look like that, then we are going to rabbit ear. Just fold if you. Well, I like to rabbit ear it to then slant it like that. 
and congratulations if you completed the Gladiator. Next, I'm going to teach what the Gladiator rides, which is my design of my Red War Dragon. Then I will teach my Green War Dragon and my Blue War Dragon. See you next time on the 4th grade Oregon.